What is up? What is up? Welcome back to my channel. As always, I am Sticks, and I just left the pull apart. So this is basically the intro, but it's the after effect. You're going to see in this video when I found it in the junkyard, what I got out of the junkyard, and why I went to the junkyard. So basically, yesterday I ended up getting the hit saying that it was a 95 missing pieces of clips at the pull apart, and it's only been there for a day. And when I got there, well, you'll see what happens when I get there, but. Um, one thing I would like to say, Pull Apart is kind of like a mess of a, of a junkyard compared to like some of the other ones around Atlanta. I guess because Pull Apart is like a big name brand or whatever the case may be, but um, I just wasn't too, too impressed with it. However, I did get what I needed, so let's dive into the video. Alright, so here it is. <laughs> Definitely taking the old young shifter knob, bro. Hands down. I kind of want this, but I don't really like the condition of it. I'm honestly only here for the sending unit for the gas pump, but because the back seats are intact, I'm pretty sure the sending unit is in here. I mean, I could possibly use another, another seat, but I ain't trying to get greedy in here. I'm just trying to get what I need and go. Definitely taking the shifter knob. Even if it doesn't fit on... My short throw shifter, still. <laughs> so that's step one, that's me. It looks like it won't fit on my new shifter, but still, I'd rather have the OEM just to have it, you know what I mean? And yeah, next thing is next is the sending unit underneath the, there. So let's get started. Necessities like gloves, 
apparently a fucking Phillips head screwdriver. So, yeah, I cut myself. I'm sorry. Try not to. Yeah. defense I'm not like one of those guys who go to the junkyard every week looking for shit nine times out of ten I probably will be now though because there was actually some interesting shit in here I saw an Integra just the other day no not the other day what am I talking about I seen it when I was walking in here it was actually up front an Integra, it's a two-door Integra, not the four-door, and it's sitting up front, and it looks pretty nice, I ain't even gonna lie to you, it looks pretty decent, I, yeah, I got, I got something for this, but yeah, like I was saying, it looks pretty decent, I'm guessing that's why it's in the front lot, so people don't go tear it apart, that way they can just sell it as a whole car, if that makes sense, but yeah, I see the motherfucking Integra up front. Shit's cold. The thing about working in a space like this, which is considered a hostile environment with all this damn blast, is you don't really want to fuck yourself up. But you know you can get it done a whole lot faster. Pretty sure you can rent tools. I really don't want to. I would much rather just find someone out here who has it and it's nice enough to let me borrow it. Show you why. 
why I'm actually taking this cinnamon. I'm going to show you when we get back to the house. All I really need is that one before I connect it. I wonder if I could just take that now because I chose the gas. That's what I'm going to do. Plus, to be on the safe side, I'd rather just take my whole day. So as I was saying, I got the fog lights, I got the connector for the gas pump that I needed. I wanted to take the OEM side skirts so bad, but they're just in horrible condition. I honestly feel like it would just be like a waste of money if I did that, mainly because they're actually sitting on the thing. Um, I took the OEM shift now. There's really nothing else off of this thing that I need. Everything else is like kind of salvageable. The interior, if the interior was leather, I would have took it, but it's not leather, so I don't really see the point. But yeah, um... Classic interior, as well as the dash. Two hundred and twenty-nine thousand miles. Hold on. But like as I was saying, um, so. I sold the e-bike, the e-bike ended up selling. I got the money I need to paint the Eclipse or at least get the things I need to paint the Eclipse. It's just gonna take a minute for me to get the things I need to paint it. Um, really all I need is some side skirts, AC compressor, and a tent to cover it up. Everything, and paint guns, everything else I already have. So I'm looking at a week, maybe two weeks, but you know, you never really know, honestly, how these things work out. Um, but yeah, that's all that we're really waiting on, man. Um, the plug that I got is the last thing that I need mechanically to fix it because of the gas pump. And then I just need to put a gasket around the exhaust valve so that I'm not smelling fumes the whole way down the road. After that, duh, the car is back on the road. So, paint, paint is the only thing that's it. All right, so right now I'm just walking around in the American section trying to see what they have. They have some good stuff. I guess it's like a little bit of Monte Carlo. Really, I'm out here looking for any sort of Mustang or Camaro or anything exciting. If I don't, uh, if I don't find anything exciting, I'm gonna go back to the import section, which is all the way over there. The other side of the map. So we can see, uh, yeah, I mean, just really what they have. I'm really just killing time because I got here early and I already got what I needed. So there's not really no point in, you know, me driving all the way back to my side of town because I literally drove across the land to get here. I'm on the other side. I live on the west side. I'm on the east side right now. So, yeah, I'm not, a, I'm not too, too much in a rush to jump in the car and go drive myself all the way back over there. So I'm just going to hang out for a little bit. Just being honest, I ain't seen nothing really exciting other than that Nissan that was over there. That Nissan still got the whole motor in it though. That's the crazy part about it. Um, something else I was gonna say. Yeah. Actually do got the money now to get the stuff to get it painted. It's gonna take a couple of days. I think this was a manual. But yeah, like I was saying, there's another one. Um, it's gonna take me a couple of days to get the stuff to uh, paint the Eclipse. 
mainly I just need like the air compressor, but I don't want to buy one new, so I'm gonna have to Facebook shop around for it. That might take a minute. Yo, I ain't even gonna lie, the interior on this thing is nice. Like, that's clean. This one's automatic, though. But yeah, like I was saying, I'm uh, I gotta get the AC compressor, and getting the AC compressor is probably gonna take a little minute. Just being honest, like it's, it's probably gonna take me. Because like you know, when when dealing with Facebook, you gotta sit here and you gotta put in like you know, I want this, and then you gotta work on someone else's time, and then if they not ready to, you know what I'm saying, bring it over to you or whatever. Like buying stuff off of Facebook Marketplace is a, is really bit of a headache so I'm trying to see exactly what it is that or how I can get an AC compressor not an AC compressor an air compressor a compressor tank so uh, at like the cheapest price without actually you know having to buy it brand new so this is actually the end of the video I appreciate y'all for watching and hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed it real quick I am going to import expo so just be on the lookout for the import expo video